Hey there, Hair Journey Divas. My name is Tiara, and I just wanted to take a little time to do a one-on-one -on -one with y'all to kind of give you my heart as it relates to the hair journey. As you've read in the bio and um, in some of the other information, I've been on the hair journey since January of 2011, and I said it back then, and I'm going to say it again. It's about so much more than hair. It's about linking arms with other women. It's about encouraging yourself. It's about encouraging other women. It's about you seeing yourself with fresh eyes, meaning you seeing yourself the way that God sees you. And I just wanted to kind of put you guys on the right track in, the, in regards to the mindset. We all know the negative side of the hair journey. You know, you got um, other women who um, no information or beauty tips, but they don't want to share it because they don't want anybody to look better than them or hair to be longer than them. You know, all that negativity. And that is so not of God. That is so not the heart of God. And that's why I emphasize so much. Just link arms with another woman. Get on the journey together. I mean, even if it's your daughter, just It'll increase the positivity. It'll increase the encouragement when you want to put the creamy crack in your hair <laughs> before time. Think about the story of Esther and how Esther was taken out of um, her home environment, of everything that she knew. And she stepped out of the box and or actually was taken out of the box and taken to the palace. But she went through um, a period of beauty treatment. She went through a period of just exfoliation and change and that's I guess that's that's my heart for you guys in regards to the shift that you're making in your life it's about just a change you know and in in the change you kind of go undercover for a little bit you look a little different but the truth of the matter is is when the end product is complete it's like you're ready you're ready for such a time All as right, this ladies. before I dip out of here I just wanted to say that one of the most important parts of the hair journey is the power of prayer as it relates to a woman's hair. Uh, yeah, we're on this journey by ourselves. I mean, as individuals, we have to put in the work in regards to our regimens. But it's so important that we link up with another woman, not only to link up with these other women, but to also pray for the other women. Um, and even pray for anybody that you may even see on the street um, that may have thinning hair or, or even no hair. Um, I'll, I promise you, when when I when I first started the journey, I mean, I just I just started to see see hair with a whole new perspective, and I mean, I just started praying for so many different women, and then I remember this woman giving me this prophetic word, and her saying. Tear, I see your hair so long and I see it like a lion's mane. And I was like, really? You know, my hair is like here. Really? You know? But it happened. And I really believe that the fact that I sowed prayers into the atmosphere, you know, sowed prayers to God regarding um, other women's struggles and then even shared tips and encouragement. I really believe that that played a big part in me seeing the fruit just of my because labor. it wasn't just about I, me. And I guess that's the main part that's, that's so important. If you don't get anything else in regards to being on this journey, recognize that this is so not about you. This hair journey is going to affect your children's children's children. You know, you are setting standards for how you maintain your hair, you know, that your granddaughters are going to use. And, and I know we can't see it now, but it's just so imperative that we sow these positive seeds in this season.